What to get a friend post-abortion. Hey, I'm Missy Stone with Students for Life, and this is your Pro-Life Gen News for Thursday, February 9th. Here we go. Teen Vogue just released an article called What to Get a Friend Post-Abortion. It's meant to be a guide for how to help a friend who's recently had an experience with abortion. They said she will need a ride, she will need a hug, and she will need you. Not because the act itself is so terrible, but because sometimes the world can be. The article goes on to list a bunch of cool gear, like hats and shirts about girl power and a uterus-shaped heating pad that you can get your friend. Your friend who just had an abortion does not need a Ruth Bader Ginsburg coloring book. She needs a hug. She does need you, but because abortion is hard, she doesn't need just a night of ice cream. She needs long-lasting support. Students at the University of Iowa just came up with the novel idea of starting Planned Parenthood student groups at their campus. The new group is called Student Advocates for Planned Parenthood, and their main objective is advocating for reproductive rights, meaning abortion. I find it interesting that a group advocating for abortion has to be called Planned Parenthood. If you're just about advocating for reproductive rights, why not just call it that? Valiant effort girls, but we've got the student department covered. Like the pro-life Aggies at Texas A&M who are awarding scholarships to pregnant and parenting students. The scholarship is in order to provide for the children and to bring awareness to pregnant and parenting students. The scholarship started in 2009 and funds are raised through donations and a 5K race. The goal for the student group is to raise $10,000 and they've already given out a few $1,000 scholarships. Way to go. Go Aggies. I don't know, what, what do Texas A&M people say? So those are things that caught her eye today. I'm Missy Stone with Students for Life. Have a great day.